Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we got Wildcard Wednesday, Most Fear Part 3 news, so Most Fear Part 3 information. So super excited about all that, guys. Now, as you guys do know, Most Fear Part 3 is coming tomorrow. Um, we kind of expect it to come today, and for some reason, they're not doing it today now. If it's not coming to if it's coming tomorrow which is thursday then i'd have to assume that probably we're getting part four on saturday sunday i thought it'd be friday but clearly not because that's gonna be tossed off a little bit or maybe next monday but that's kind of like just really late at this point considering the month's just about over at that point so i really don't know if it's gonna be that day but we do know for a fact that we will be getting it tomorrow which is one of them so it could be scary tall it could be scary fast we'll go into everything in just a second but guys before we get into all that make sure down below hit the subscribe button Make sure to join the family, and if you guys want a chance to be shouted out the Poodle Squad, like the video, turn on that noti bell, and of course, comment down below, Poodle Squad. Now for today's Poodle Squad shout out, we got Xan uh, Xander Francis, shout out to you man for being a part of the Poodle Squad, greatly appreciate you for showing support and doing what you do each and every day. If you guys want a chance, I already said what to do, and if you guys need coins, pick up anyone from Wildcard Wednesday or Most Feared, head over to uh, Mutt Reserve down below, use code Poodle for 15% off your order, take advantage, and that's it. Let's get into this. It keeps telling me I have an unopened pack. Oh, now there's something there. Okay. I swear to you, that's been there for like three days and I couldn't get to it. Okay. What is this? Let's open this up. Jeez, I was about to freak out. It's just been sitting there. Oh, thanks. This is what I waited three days for. That's great. Okay. All right. So let's get into this, guys. So we do have the Wildcard Wednesday stuff and we got some most weird stuff. So they did say that most feared part three is coming tomorrow. Now it could be it could be scary fast or it could be scary strong. Now based on the solos, it implies that's gonna be scary fast. Now I did my scary fast predictions yesterday. Now if you guys want to see my scary tall predictions, and everything, make sure to like the video and comment down below if you want to see them, and I'll make that as my next video of the day. But scary, um, scary fast is preferred. Scary tall, I mean the thing is scary tall might bring a Calvin or a Randy, so that's crazy. But it's gonna bring some slow guys like Larry Fibbing and Unreal. I, you know, I expect Tyreek, uh, Rugs, a Jair maybe a bailey so there's gonna be some great players from scary fast gonna be meta players so you know obviously i'm looking more forward to that aspect of it but of course if we do get a, a scary tall calvin or a scary tall uh randy moss then that's obviously the better one but either way it's coming tomorrow and he did say there's gonna be some ltds he said ltds plural now is that just him being dumb and just making him plural when it should be possibly but if it's plural that's pretty awesome because that means we're getting multiple now i did tell you guys a lot of people were saying where's jr in my predictions i think he's gonna be an ltd because i don't see how he fits in because i think because there's gonna be one pass and one present master and i think jair has to be a master more than likely or he could be a hero but the thing is if tyreek's gonna be the main guy i can't make him as the pass because then you know you guys get the point so he's either gonna be an ltd or a 90 overall hero and i prefer him as an ltd because i want a good jair alexander not just a regular one i really love jair like i said i'm a big fan of jair uh i do have his glove game worn right next to me right now three he handed to me at one of the packers packers versus giants when they beat their ass last year but moving on from that guys head into wildcard wednesday and go over some other stuff uh, let's go over the new uh the new veterans and check everything out now i mean you know it's veterans of course some will be decent none are gonna be meta i mean they're they're better ryan fitzpatrick as one of the newer um veterans fitz magic right here 200k the card art's really awesome on these veteran cards way better than last year 71 speed 88 throw power 90 short accuracy 87 medium accuracy 84 deep 86 under pressure 85 play i'll throw in the run and 88 play action now he cannot be powered up so you get what you see with go deep you could probably get his throw power up to about a 90 something and you can get his deep accuracy up to like a high 80 again he probably better off and better for play uh play fake so you can get his medium up quarterback's decent maybe budget team you know nothing too great on that aspect there uh let's go to the next one where we got oh i gotta filter my newest again. i was like whoa those aren't it okay next we got aj Bouye. aj Bouye, 90 overall cornerback for the broncos he can be powered up. Okay, so he's actually not horrible if you really look at it. 89 speed, 93 excel, 88 agility, 88 jumping, 87 play rec, 84 man, 88 zone, and 88 press. Now, if you guys, if you power him up and put lockdown on him, you can get his press to it above a 90 threshold. You can get his zone above a 90, and I think you can get his man to exactly a 90, and you can get his speed to a 90. So, he's actually not bad. Like, if you guys need a budgety corner, like, he's going to eventually be pretty cheap based on, like, training and stuff. He's not horrible. He's pretty decent, and he'll get the job done. I do think though that I mean obviously he's not meta, but like if you can get an all threshold cornerback with 90 speed, 94 excel for the cheap price they're eventually gonna be at, I think it's kind of a steal personally. Uh, again, that's just my opinion, but just, just throwing it out there. 
Next, we got Demario Davis. Now, Demario Davis, 85 speed, 87 excel, 83 strength, 89 tackle, 80, uh, 90 play rack, 83 block shed, 52 power move, 68 finesse move. Now, where is his hip power? That's important to me, especially with a guy that's not like a zone guy. Let's see. 85 hip power, and of course, he doesn't have a He has a 76 zone, so he can be powered up. So if you could power up and chem up with lockdown, he'll have an 86 speed with an 80 zone coverage. I mean, he's going to be decent. He's going to be a decent coverage guy, like very, very decent. Six foot two. Nothing too great about this card here. I mean, the block is not too great. He, he's a run stopper, but he really can't stop the run. He really can't play coverage too well. He's like a very well-rounded, slow a linebacker. I, I don't know how useful that really is in today's Madden, so... Take that as you will. On a Saints team, team is probably better. On a Jets team, team, which I wouldn't say better because Jets team, team probably sucks. But re regardless, there's still use now for the last guy. Where's Mario Addison? Oh, Jesus, I'm blanking. There he is. Mario Addison, uh, speed rusher for the Buffalo Bills. 81 speed, 86 excel, 78 strength, 89 tackle, 89 play rec, 79 block shed, 83 power move, and 91 finesse move. Now. He's actually not bad because he is fast and he does have a 91 finesse move. Now, his block shot's gonna fall short of the 80, which is kind of annoying because he already is gonna suck at run stopping. 91 finesse move is really, really good. I mean, if you need like a budgety, like super, again, budgety finesse move guy, he's not gonna be horrible, but I'd rather go with that team of the week guy from yesterday. There was someone who was really good with finesse move and he was kind of budgety. Uh, Jerry Hughes, probably better. Uh, this card's not great, to be honest. I mean, the finesse move, like I said, is good, but. Doesn't have that block shit at all, and he's gonna probably be. He's like, he's but I can't even call him budget because he's still gonna be a decent price because they're they're gonna be you know they're 90 overalls, and that price is not worth what I'm look talking when I'm talking budget with him. In that aspect, next we got Jared Cook, and that is the final one. Jared, did I not just click Jared Cook? That's weird. Where'd he go? Okay, so Jared Cook, 90 overall tight end, probably be decently fast. 85 speed, yeah. 85 speed, 70 strength, 88 catching, 90 catching. Not, sorry, 90 catching traffic, 91 spec, 90 short while running, 86. Hold up. Hold up, Jared Cook, nasty. Oh, man, he can't be powered up, though. Guys, you put play fake on Jared Cook, it's going to be 85 speed all threshold route running. Jared Cook, nasty. Is this the end of Jonu Smith? I loved my Jonu Smith. He's going to be just as fast, way better catcher, way better, way better catcher, way better route runner. And I put play fake on him. He's threshold. Oh, Jared Cook, nasty. All right, guys. So Jared Cook is the move. Okay, like I don't think he replaces like Jimmy Graham and those guys, but like for the price, he's gonna be like 120k. Jared Cook's not bad, guys. But that's it. That's about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, shout out to the Poodle Squad, uh, Xander. Uh, if you guys had, if you guys enjoyed the video today, like the video, come join the Poodle Squad, like the video, turn the noti bell, and comment down below, Poodle Squad. That's about it, guys. If you want to see tall, scary tall predictions, comment down below. I already did my scary fast. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure to head over to Mutt Reserve. Pick up some coins. You want to pick up some of these heavyweights. I'm sorry, veterans. And you want to, or you want to pick up some most feared. Head over to Yusko Poodle, 15% off. That's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I should have one more video off for the rest of the day. That's probably going to be it. There's not too much going on today. Tomorrow there will be a lot more, of course. But yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.